Well, Dave, you've had a pretty intense period lately of, of Saturday and Tuesday games. How have you enjoyed having a, a full week to work with the players? Yeah, it's it allowed us a little bit of time to, um, I suppose, get that little bit of freshness back. Um, I suppose from our side of things, when you're in a, a good run of form, ideally the games come thick and fast and we've taken advantage of that. But to be able to have um, a full week lead, if you like, does get players refreshed that needed that little bit of a, um, not a break by any stretch, but just allowed a little bit of underloading in terms of the physical stuff. Um, but obviously we carry momentum forward and we're looking forward to the weekend's game. I mean, you've actually got no midweek game scheduled now until the end of December. I mean, how much changes in that regard in terms of preparation and the work that you do in the week? Um, not, not a great deal changes. So we'll still have um, physical loads that players will need to hit in terms of in terms of what we do it allows i suppose better recovery between games especially saturday to saturday so i suppose any potential little niggles that you do have from game to game gives players a little bit longer to potentially be available for the for the, for the next game so we, we've got players coming back at a good time um allows us to like i say to work them and allows us to hopefully have, have everyone available for selection like I say we've a run of um probably six weeks or so now until you go into the, the sort of, again, strange, a nine-day break between the, the sort of Christmas period and then three games in seven days. Um, and then all of a sudden you're into the new year and um, before you know it, the, the sort of back end of the season is upon you. So um, it, it's a, a good time. The, the sort of the fixture schedule and the way it works, certainly from our perspective, helps with our own personal circumstances in terms of players. Um, and hopefully we take advantage of that. October was obviously a great month for County and recognition for that with Paddy Madden winning the League Two Player of the Month. I mean, he's looked very much back to his best in recent weeks. Yeah, I think I think if you, if you ask Paddy, he's probably um, the run he had in terms of goal scoring probably coincided with his individual performances not being as, as, as great as he, he'd want in terms of individual moments, but ultimately he gets goals for us, <coughs> excuse me, he gets goals for us and goals have, have been important. The, the partnership that he's had with, with what's up the top end of the pitch has been really uh, fruitful, not just in terms of goals return, because for forward players you're always going to look at that or be judged on that, but I think in terms of our, our general play, um, the service we've given them, the um, the opportunity we created, and they're our first line of defence in terms of in terms of that press. So, um, from his side of things, great to get individual recognition, but um, I'm sure he'd be the first to um, appreciate, as the other players do. Um, this has been a, a real a real team effort in terms of the the run of results we've had, and long may that continue. In your last league out in at Tranmere, you you probably had your easiest team selection of the season, really, in terms of remaining unchanged. Do you now have your most difficult into, after the performances of the players that came in on Saturday? Um, if it is difficult, it's a good difficult. That, that, let's, be, let's, be, let's be clear. Um, the, the, the options that we have give us different dimensions in terms of what we want from different positions. And, and the, I suppose the power of having a, a strong squad is the reason that we brought the players in that we did, so that we were challenged in terms of having to pick a team and, and having to, um, I suppose, at times explain to players why we make the decisions that we make. Um, so I'm, listen, I'm really comfortable with that. I'd rather be in a position where everybody's fit, everyone's available, everyone's in brilliant form, everybody's performed at a level that makes it really, really tough for us. I, I think, as I've said previously, what, what the past few weeks have shown is the strength of our squad and the players that we have probably not had starting, but that can influence the game either from the bench or as was with the case last weekend when we decided to uh, to mix things up and rotate rotate the team. What's the key to, to handling that and managing that as a manager? Is it about communication with the players? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think one thing that's very clear that doesn't need me to communicate to the players is that every single person within the building has the same objective and that's to make this season a, a successful one. Um, that means winning games and over the course of the season we'll select different teams that we think is the best way to go in a certain a certain way. We'll not get that right all the time, um, but we hope that on the majority of the occasions that the team that we put out there can go and perform and carry out the game plan that we want and, and get, us, uh, get us three points. We've all been there as players in terms of you want to play every game. Um, 
and it's not a difficult one for me to explain it's quite an easy one because i've been there and, and felt those felt those things they've got to trust in what we're doing i've said previously everyone will play their part in what we do over the course of the season some will feel they play more of a part than, than others um but everyone's vitally as vitally as important as, as the other one player that, that certainly seems to have nailed down a place in the first team in recent weeks is obviously Akil Wright. I know you guys were, were really keen to get him into the team in the first few weeks of the season, but have you always seen him as someone that was going to be capable of, of slotting in on the right side of centre-half role as, as well as he has done? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think Aki um, played that role at times for York last season. He's played that role in his earliest career when he was at Ilkeston um, as, a, as a young player. Um, he has, especially from what we want as a physical and technical profile of that position, he has all the attributes to be able to do it really, really well. Um, so had no concerns. Again, we were limited with what we could do with him um, at the start of the season through the, the illness that he had, which set set everyone back really. Um, and what he has done is over the games he's become more and more comfortable we've still got to work with him there's still loads more that to, to come from him but he he cruises through games in terms of um how he he looks on on the eye um can do a job there like i say more than comfortably has the the ability to step in with the ball travels unbelievably well um but also is physically dominant aerially dominance um and and, and can move um so like i say Perfect, there's still loads more to come from him in my opinion, but what he's showed over the past five, six games is that that's a position that he really can um, solidify and make his own if he wants. You mentioned before about starting to have players return from injury now, I think it was only Vitti Arras unavailable last Saturday, how is everyone going into this weekend? Yeah, good, um, as I say, this is it, it's allowed us to be a little bit careful with um, the ones we've needed to be. Um, Veet's obviously had a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a, not so much a setback, but the injury that we initially thought was going to be days is probably going to be a little bit longer than, than that. He's had a, uh, an injection um, that needs to settle down. He'll have another injection. So with him, it's probably um, maybe the middle of middle of December um, we're looking at. So that's something that we need to be aware of. Um, the only other one who uh, I suppose has, has been off the grass is, is Campsy, who, again, you would have seen at the end of the game, fell on his, his shoulder. He had shoulder surgery, I think, last year. Um, so he's been scanned them and see a specialist. Um, we think we can manage that conservatively, conservatively rather, at present. Um, but there's still some pain there, so we need to get that to settle um, and then reintroduce him. So weekend for him comes comes too soon. Um, but as I say, the benefit of week to week fixtures, if you like, Saturday to Saturday fixtures, mean that next weekend we can we can take a view on where where he is um, and, and move forward with that. Just touching on Newport, obviously under new management recently, and, and picked on some impressive results on the road at Mansfield and Northampton. So it's a different sort of challenge to what it might have been a, a few weeks ago. It is, yeah, absolutely, a different challenge. But I suppose from from their perspective, looking at it as well, we're a different challenge than what maybe we were. So you go back to uh, Graham going in there. Um, I think the the middle of middle of October, um, they've had, like I say, a good run in terms of league wins, a couple of difficult places to go and got and got draws, a good win in the cup. Um, so they'll be, like I say, buoyed and wanting to to win the game, and are in a decent run of form. Likewise, we are. Um, so both will be trying to win the game we know that what they um what they are and their strengths in terms of um they've been really um i suppose really solid in terms of defensively low risk um big threat from set pieces which we're gonna have to deal with but we've got to like I say we've got to worry about us focus on us we're in, a, we're in a good place um and looking to go there and continue the run we're on absolutely dave thanks for talking to us cheers liam thank you